All right, today we're going to learn how to make a um, interactive accordion component in Figma that you can use in any page and you don't have to create a new screen for uh, your open versus your closed states thanks to Figma's new uh, variants uh, features. So uh, we have our canvas over here with our cabin app and we'd like to add a little drop down or accordion that talks about the different amenities within the cabin. Um, so here we have all our elements. We have a garden, on-site chef, Wi-Fi, puzzles, and workshop. We have our chevron, and we have our amenities title. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our amenities and our chevron, and we are going to frame them. And we are going to add auto layout. And we will probably go space between so that we can stretch them out and uh, they will expand. So you can set it so that you can fill the size later. Um, but right now I know that the inside is 335. So I'm just going to set it to a fixed width right now. So now that we have that, we are going to call that our header. And then we are going to frame it one more time. And then we are going to call this our accordion. And this frame, we are also going to give an auto layout, but we are going to make sure it is going vertical. Uh, and we can stick with the top left is totally fine for this. Um, so one thing we want to add in here is um, if you were to drag it in right now, you can see that it, it's in there. It's nice, but I want to add some, just to give it some bounding boxes, I'm going to add a line except that needs to be outside of the header. And I'm just going to make sure that that fills the container. And I'm going to duplicate that and use my arrow key to move it up. So now we have a line on the top, a line on the bottom. And that is our basic accordion. So you can drag it in. That's going to work just fine. So now the next thing we're going to do is we want to add all of these guys in there. Um, so just in case you want to change the spacing between your lines and your content, we will take these. I'm going to frame them. I'm going to add auto layout. And I don't think we need 20 between them, so we'll bring it down to maybe 12. Okay, we will call that items. And we're basically going to drag this right into our auto layout here. So this is our, you can see this is kind of what our expanded state is going to look like. So now I will go and I'll create a component out of this. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my amenities. Um, if you want them to be indented a little bit since they're framed, we can add maybe 20 pixels just to give them a little bit of an indent. I don't think it's necessary. Well, maybe let's give them a slight indent. So I'm going to select these and I'm actually going to hide them. And then I'm going to create a variant called open. And in that variant over here, I'm going to make them visible and you just have to drag your box open a little bit. And then we're going to take our chevron and we are going to flip it. And now we have a closed state and an open state. Now all we have to do is click on our first variant, drag your prototype to the open one on tap change to, we'll leave it as instant. Um, sometimes you can use smart animate, but sometimes it doesn't work. So um, for the simplicity of this tutorial, we'll leave it off. And then on this one, I'm just going to click into my actual header and I'm going to drag that prototyping back up. So now you can see when we go to our assets, we can drag this in. Um, one important thing to note is for this to work really well is use auto layout on your page or at least in the section so that when it expands, it pushes all the elements down. So you can see now that when we run our prototype,
I click on it, it expands, pushes all the content down, everything is kept in place, and you can collapse and expand it as many times as you want without having to create a new screen. And the nice thing is now that it's component is you can reuse this in any screen um, and you don't have to uh, basically recreate a bunch of different uh, canvases to show one simple interaction. Um, this allows you to do animations as well, um, but I might do that in a separate tutorial. So there you have it. Simple and easy, creating an interactive, expandable accordion component that you can reuse on any screen.